Right, well here we go again with scary bikers. I say that because um, I was going to um, perform it in the White Lodge Hotel back in um, 2019 or rather 2020. Um, but Covid um, put the kibosh on that just nine days before curtain up. And uh, we sort of tried to keep it going, but it was impossible. And then uh, 2023, and um, Jeanette, who runs our um, uh, play reading group, asked me if um, I'd introduce the play. And I was a bit in two minds, to be honest, and I thought, has it had its day? I don't know. And I read it again, and I thought, Okay, let's um, read it and see what they think. And I asked them to uh, vote on what they thought the main theme was. And I listed things like um, love story, bereavement story, Brexit, levelling up, the pit strike, and a few other things. And I was absolutely shocked at the end of the evening when everybody said it was a really great love story. And not just one love story, because the two protagonists, Don and Carol, um, have recently been bereaved <clears throat> and we have backflashes of their relationship with their um, husband and wife. So really it's um, three love stories. And Carol and Don meet because their spouses are buried next door to one another and they meet in the graveyard and they get chatting. They discover the, the mutual love of cycling and they decide to go on a really long bike ride to Florence and they get into all kinds of um, problems which are very funny. There's a lot of political jokes and would you believe it, they sound as though they were written yesterday. So when it comes in, in terms of politicians behaving badly, um, yeah, it doesn't change. But it's a very, very funny play. It's also very moving and there's something in it for everybody. So, we're starting on the 21st of February, four performances, finishing on the 24th. Um, tickets are going pretty well, um, so don't wait too long before getting yours. See you then, bye.